countless stenches in the air, the funk of 40,000 years, and grisly goons from everywhere. Probably if you look back in history, the depression, the world wars, stuff like that, all the things that are bad, you know, the economy is bad, I think side acts, not just magic, but you know, jugglers and mm. fire eaters, all that sort of thing, come back in vogue, and I think that's... That's what it is. Mm. I mean, it's an escapism. Uh, yeah, I think not mm. only with magic, I think with all entertainment. My favourite word is material fiction. Which is what this is. Material fiction. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like good time to do rain dance, huh? Here we go, squads. Hey, <laughs> hey, Let that be a lesson to you, too. Hey, ah. Yeah. Hey, so get me out of here, huh? Get no magic dust, the wand went limp, and the rabbit had a night off, and the audience loved it. After 18 years of treading the boards in separate shows, the Wizards of Oz, Phil Cass and Scott Williams, worked as one to press to digitate and levitate in a magical show with gals and gags. Going to find out if you got a sense of humour. <laughs> There you go, throw the little piece in. Just a little piece. Your fault, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want you to go away empty-handed, sir, so here's a duck. There you are. Two months of preparation paid off for Cass, Williams and the cast. A non-stop two hours of levity in all meanings of the word. It seemed nothing was too heavy to lift and shift. hundred people in there mm. uh, and and magic really has taken an uplift more, even more so in the last in the last eight months uh, eight to ten months why is that I mean, you've got to work at no it idea, what... because it went through a period where nobody wanted to know it nobody mm. nobody was interested in magic whether it was kids magic children's magic uh, it, it, no matter how much work you put into it you never know just how it's going to go until the night a couple of hours of magic though Phil it's, it's more than just a, a few tricks a few illusions <coughs> All right, I've got it now. That was earlier in the show, wasn't it? Um, yeah, just said, what was the question? Here we go, stand by, down and... Ah, it's all right, it's all right, your mother said I could. You just take that in and just give me a gentle tug. Ah, and you can see that there is nothing to it. If you want to lose a little bit of weight, the wizards weaved a wicked blend of medieval and modern magic. Carol at Seven were more than uh, happy to loan us, Gary. Hello, Gary, good to see you. Who could resist a role in the highlight of the show? It promised to be an uplifting experience. A $75,000 red Corvette. I was one of two passengers. What, what, what is coming next? Between oh, us. I'm not telling. You're not telling? There is, there is, there is a, uh, another illusion on the drawing books that, that if and when it does come together, something that will take a lot more than six weeks' work to put together, but if it does come together, mm. it will be something that will absolutely just spellbound the entire nation uh, and will also be on the, on the end of tongues of magicians all around the world, providing it works. Are these? Oh. Sharp. Sorry. All right. Okay, so that's basically all. So next time when we're going to do this and we're going to practice it, you... What are you doing? <laughs> no, keep going down, down, over the ribs. That's it, down. Down further. <laughs> <laughs> what do I set for?